All right, let's go overseas where Prabowo Subianto has claimed victory in Indonesia's presidential election, securing close to 58% of the votes in a preliminary count. Now, it's third time lucky for the ex-military man, former defence minister, who has run for president twice before. So what does this changing of the guard mean for Australia? Let's bring in the Australian's foreign editor, Greg Sheridan, for this and more. Well, Greg, thank you for your time. Joko Widodo, very popular, current president. Of course, he's time limited. He can run for two terms, and he has, and he's won, but he can't run for a third. Prabowo's got a bit of a chequered history. What's this victory mean, not just for Indonesia, but for close neighbours like us? Well, Peter, great to be with you. A very complex question. Prabowo is a complex guy. He has a very dark past. He was a... Um, a general in the Suharto years, but he was not really one of the good guys. He was one of the bad guys. He's accused of kidnapping and overseeing the murder of student demonstrators at the end of Suharto. He denies that. He's accused of really terrible human rights violations in East Timor and um, uh, elsewhere in Indonesia. He denies that. But And he was booted out of the army in disgrace because of uh, an apparent effort that he made to get Zahardo's successor to appoint him as chief of the military. However, he's a different guy now, 25 or 30 years later. Uh, Jokowi, the, the retiring president, a very wily fox in Indonesian politics. Uh, he beat uh, Prabowo twice. And then after the second time, he said, look, instead of having this guy as a disgruntled, uh, you know, unhappy, powerful ex-military guy, why not bring him into the tent? So he brought him into his government as defence minister, Prabowo has completely changed his image. He's become kind and cuddly. He no longer campaigns against democracy. He loves democracy. Oddly enough, he's a good friend of Australia, like most Indonesian soldiers. He knows a lot of Australian soldiers. He um, didn't oppose AUKUS. He's had a good relationship with Richard Marles. And most important of all, Jokowi gave him his son as Prabowo's vice presidential running mate. Mm. So now Prabowo will become president in October. Do we get the new cuddly beautiful Prabowo or the old authoritarian? I think probably the former, but, you know, I wouldn't be absolutely astonished if it was the latter.